you for joining me on my tap along session for health and well-being. Now we all want good health and well-being, even more so during this very challenging time. So I know some of us may have perfect health and there may be others who have some health issues. So I'm going to use some very generalised phrases um, so that this tapping session resonates with as many people out there as possible. Now, what we hold in our minds about our health and well-being can have an effect on us physically. If we tend to worry a lot, if we tend to worry about getting ill, worry about different things that are going on, you know, this ageing process, that can have a detrimental effect on our immune system. So it's important that we think as positively as we can, not just generally in everyday life, but also about our health and well-being. So we want to boost our immune system. We want to give it the best chance possible. So join me as I tap on myself. You can join in and also feel the benefits from this amazing technique. So before we start, again, it's very important that you wash your hands. So just pause this video, thoroughly wash your hands and then come back. So before we start, I'd like to just place my hands on my heart and take a deep breath in and out and just say out loud I give myself permission to feel good about my health and well-being and then take another deep breath in and out And then we're going to start by just tapping on the side of the hand, whichever hand feels comfortable for you. And all you need to do is tap along. You don't need to understand how this technique works. Just experiment and see how it works for you. So even though I am aware of some health issues, I accept myself anyway. Even though I am aware that I worry about my health and well-being. I accept myself even with my insecurities. Even though I'm scared of being ill, I choose to accept my fear. And then top of the head, I give myself permission to feel healthy. My body is amazing. <laughs> It's constantly working, even when I'm asleep. It's got me through some past illnesses. And I'm still alive to tell the tale. I've survived. I've survived till now. I have an incredible immune system. It looks after me. Sometimes I get ill and my body heals itself. It's amazing. If I cut myself, I trust that my body will heal it. Sometimes my body needs extra help. Sometimes I need medication and that's okay. I've had operations and survived. I've had medical interventions and survived. And I'm doing pretty well. I forgive myself for worrying about my health. I forgive myself and I remind myself of my good health. In this moment I am well, I'm feeling good, I'm very healthy, parts of me are very healthy and I choose to focus my attention 
on what is working well. And this helps to sow the seeds of health and well-being. Focusing on the positives. I'm grateful for what health I do have. In this moment, I am cultivating health and well-being. I also show it to other people. My health radiates out. Connecting to health and well-being. It's safe to feel healthy in this moment. I am healthy. And I give myself permission to feel good. I am safe. And in this moment, I have all that I need. I have everything I need for this moment. My body is doing well. I thank my body for supporting me. And I have a lot to be grateful for. I'm alive. <laughs> And I have a future. Feeling healthy boosts my immune system. Feeling positive boosts my immune system. Even better health. Each day I am getting healthier and healthier. Each day, my health and well-being improves. I'm grateful for my lungs helping me to breathe. I'm grateful for my bones and my joints. I'm grateful for my muscles. <laughs> I'm grateful for my blood and my circulatory system, and my heart pumping the blood around. Everything's working well. Tip top condition. <laughs> I'm grateful for my immune system for keeping me well. I'm grateful for my digestive system for processing my food. Utilising all the nutrients that I eat. My body is amazing. I know. <laughs> it's safe to breathe. It's safe to live. I have everything to live for. This is my life. And I've survived till now. Through the good times and the bad times, and the sad times. We've all had those times. But in this moment, all is well. This is my life. And I love every moment. I'm grateful for the health I have. 
I am grateful. It's safe to be alive. And I don't feel guilty for being alive. I choose to be the best person I can. And I support my body with positive thoughts. I support my body with healthy food. I drink plenty of water. Most of the time. I am grateful for the health I have. My body is aging well. I am happy with my body and I'm grateful for my health. I will exercise more. I choose to look after myself. I choose to protect myself. I am learning to love and accept myself. I'm learning to like the person I am. I am able to love and accept me. I love and accept myself. I am safe. I am safe. Now place your hands on your heart and take a deep breath in and out. Now just gently hold your wrist and think of a time when you felt at your healthiest. I remember when I was training to do a wolf run I felt pretty healthy then. I remember feeling so physically and mentally strong. It gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me a lot, a lot of get up and go, a lot of energy. And it felt good. I remember feeling really, really healthy. So I'd like to ask you to check in and remember a time when you felt really, really healthy. And just keep squeezing your wrist very gently. We're just gonna anchor these good feelings in. So get a picture in your mind's eye of you when you were at your healthiest. So it may be you've done some kind of diet, maybe you lost weight, or maybe that you needed to put weight on. Maybe you just changed your lifestyle to a healthier, option. Maybe you're feeling really healthy now. I want you to think of a time when you were at your healthiest and if you want to just close your eyes and just focus in on that time in your life when you felt really healthy and you felt really strong and if you can get a picture in your mind's eye of you during this time and just notice the picture Notice how healthy you are. And I really want you to turn the colours up on your picture and make the picture come alive, really bring it into focus and sharpen the image. I want you to make that picture bigger. And now put a frame around that picture, a frame of your choosing. And then bring that picture of health closer to you. And then take that picture into your heart and sense the energy of good health all around you in this moment. Remember what it was like when you were there and imagine you can have that health and well-being now. Sense the energy 
of it all around you. How does it feel? And now take in a deep breath and out. Now, if you've still got your eyes closed, just gently open them and notice how good you feel. Do you know, when you focus on a good memory, your mind cannot differentiate whether you are really experiencing that or whether you're just reliving it through your mind, for your imagination. So your mind thinks you're there and it sends out the endorphins, it sends out the feel-good hormones. So just focusing in on a positive memory can create a chemical change within your body and make you feel good. So how are you feeling now? Are you feeling chilled out? Are you feeling relaxed? Are you feeling healthy? So what I'd like you to do is to continue with this feeling for as long as possible. So here is the real challenge. I'd like you to now to carry on feeling good. So take a nice relaxing bath, maybe read a book or watch some comedy, meditate or just do something that makes you feel good. Maybe do some exercise if that makes you feel good. Yoga. Yoga's great, that makes you feel good. So, you know, if you want to continue to feel this feeling, then um, carry on with this challenge. Um, I guarantee you will sleep better tonight and then whatever tomorrow brings, you'll be more able to cope with whatever happens. And I know you can do this. So I wish you all well and until the next time, stay safe. Wash your hands and keep tapping. And thank you for watching.